it is two months to your exams. Probably, yes, it is two months to your exams. Um, because, well, I'm recording this Friday, I'm putting this video out on a Saturday, and at the moment all the schools are still open, even though 22 countries around the world have decided to shut schools. Countries either side of us, Ireland and France, have shut schools. Um, schools in the UK are still open. Um, and this is this is a tricky time. This is a completely unprecedented time. Um, at the moment, schools are open and exams are going ahead as planned. And that is basically what we have to do. We have to assume that exams are going ahead because if you stop revising now and assume exams aren't going to happen, then when the exams do happen, you're not going to be prepared. So please. Do not assume that schools are going to shut and um, exams aren't going to happen because the exams are going to happen probably in May and June. Um, so let's prepare for it like it is. Um, now, I know there's going to be lots and lots of questions about this. So in today's video, I'm going to cover are schools going to shut and then how we can revise if schools shut and um, what, what you should be doing now because it's... March and it's two months until the first exam. Um, so are schools going to shut? Probably, yes. Um, we are in the grips of a pandemic that kills people. Um, and schools are places where germs, viruses get spread around really, really easily. So we are working on the assumption that schools are going to shut soon. The school shoot sooner than sooner the schools shut the less people are going to die um in ireland they have had one death and the schools are shut here we have had at the moment i think we're up to 10 deaths and the schools are still open um anyway if the schools do shut i think at the moment exams are still going to go ahead in may and june there is precedent for this in 2009 during the swine flu uh pandemic schools not all schools some schools were shut but they did reopen for students to sit exams um so instead of having like you know 100 200 people in the hall or in the gym you would have like five people in a classroom so everyone's very very spread out um, but we need to keep going as if um, exams are still going on. The daily life may not go on as normal, but chances are your exams are going to go on as normal. Um, now, I, I know this doesn't have anything to do with the video, but this pandemic is going to hit the most vulnerable people in society the hardest. So, on your way back from school, if you pop into the supermarket and buy yourself a can of drink and a bar to snack on, please just do me a favour and go down the, the tinned vegetable aisle and pick up a 20p can of tinned carrots and just go and put it in the food bank. Please, just do me a big favour. Anyway, right, the whole point of this video is how to revise now that there are two months left, probably until your exams. At the moment, I'm preparing for things as normal and this is basically what we should be doing preparing for things as normal i'm also preparing for things as not normal um so we will cover preparing for things as normal first of all and then we will cover preparing for not normal later on because me and a load of other teacher youtubers have a big plan to look after you so even if school shuts we are literally going to be working our hardest to make sure that you guys are looked after. Um, so preparing things as normal, two months into the exams, we really need to start revising now, I know. Um, most people are going to leave it until these holidays, which actually isn't that far away. I think we've got three weeks, two, three weeks, I should probably know this, um, until the Easter holidays. And that's the point at which most people start revising. But the sooner you start revising, the less stressed you'll be and the better you will do. And I do not mean just sitting there watching a whole sweat video all the way through from start to finish. We need to be doing active revision so watch a section of the video and then go away and do predictive papers on it or watch a section of the video and then go away and do multiple choice questions on it it's all about applying skills not just remembering stuff and this isn't specific to example because this has come down from of course the government departments who um 
tell examples what to put in exams. So it is not just about remembering stuff, it is about practicing stuff. So that is how I want you to shift your revision. You know, if you've got flashcards already, brilliant, they're good at remembering stuff, but we need to be working on applying our knowledge in new situations. Can you hear that scratching? That's because Prim is at the bottom of the chair scratching a bit of paper. Prim, stop it. Prim, come in. I'm just going to go and stop it because otherwise it's really going to ruin the audio on this. Right, what was I saying? Yes, practice applying things. So, hopefully we've already got flashcards sorted by now. Um, and what you need to do, instead of just focusing on learning stuff, on remembering stuff, she's literally just jumped straight back down and is now doing exactly the same thing I just dropped her doing. <sighs> I'm having fun. But I've now removed all bits of paper out of her reach so she can't claw at my notebooks anymore. Anyway, what was I saying? Yes, that's it. Practice applying your knowledge. So we need to shift our revision away from um, learning stuff and shift it towards doing practice questions. And I don't just mean practice questions around like one single topic, but practice questions that mix things up a little bit, which is why things like the multiple choice questions that I've got where you just kind of like everything all mixed together or the questions in these new books that I've got out. Now is a good time to sit down and practice doing exam papers. So you sit down maybe for an hour and do the exam paper and then you know because that's been revising for quite a long time give yourself a decent break and then leave the exam paper and maybe go back to it the next day day have a look at what you've written and say do I completely agree with those answers or do I want to change something a little bit you know maybe you kind of like get a different color pen use the textbook use your revision guide use my videos and say can I improve my answers a little bit make sure it's kind of like in different color pens so you can see how things have changed and then leave it for another day and then maybe on the third day Go back and mark your answers. So it's revisiting stuff over and over again. It's not just sitting there for a two hour chunk and doing it. Little and often is the key with this. And then once you mark your paper, have a look at where you got, where you went wrong and what sort of things the examiners are looking for. At this point, exam style questions, whether they're ones from the exam board, whether they're ones from me, whether they're ones in workbooks are really the best thing that you can be doing so exam style questions um looking at the mark scheme looking at where you went wrong looking at what sort of things the examiners are looking for and not just on one single inch of a topic but mixing things up so it's all really really varied for you that is the absolute best thing that you can be doing um now i am busy 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 preparing as much stuff for you as i possibly can um the brand new GCC maths workbooks went out yesterday so that is literally thousands and thousands of questions for GCC maths at higher and foundation uh the first history unit dropped yesterday as well um more of those are coming very very rapidly GCC citizenship is up and ready um, GCSE further maths, level 2 further maths or further supplemental additional qualification or whatever your exam board has decided to call it, that will be ready next week. So I know it seems like a lot of stuff is coming all at once and trust me I am I am working like 12, 15 hour days, 7 days a week at the moment getting as much stuff up as I can. Um, but that's because this sort of stuff takes a really really long time to prepare and we have, I have given myself deadlines to get stuff up and out for you um so yes i have loads and loads of new stuff basically every single day there is something new up on my website for you now if schools do shut me and a few other teachers who have youtube channels and i've opened this up to absolutely everybody i'm not saying oh no i don't want you involved i don't want you involved i've said anyone that wants to be involved in this can and i've reached out to people and some people have said yes and some people haven't um, so there's me, um, Lewis from um, Physics Online, Stacey who does English, uh, Mr B who does Geography, I've got um, Hell from Hobson um, for Physics, I've got uh, Tom for History, um, so we've got quite a lot of stuff covered. Um, yes, so we've got three science teachers, I'm going to do maths, we've got geography, we've got history and we've got two English teachers. 
pretty good coverage i know it's not everything i know it's not perfect um but you know we've pretty got your essential um gcse's and a levels sorted so i'm going to be doing um gcse maths um gcse biology gcse chemistry and a level chemistry um because i'm not busy enough um Lewis um, is going to be doing uh, physics, Stacey and uh, I, can't, I, see, I know everyone's like Twitter handles, <laughs> I can't use that. We've got two people doing English, Stacey's going to be, uh, she's got loads of other stuff ready for English already and um, what we have developed is a timetable. Um, so exactly as you would be in school, um, we are going to be live streaming, we're going to be setting you work, we are going to be, um, we, we're going to be teaching you, we are basically going to be taking over, um, if your schools can't, because not all schools have the capability to do this, if schools shut, teachers are going to be at home with their kids and they may not have the, the time to make videos for you, the capability to make videos for you, and it's not their fault that they are not doing this, um, it's just circumstance so if schools do shut i and a few other teacher youtubers will be helping you out as much as we can to to basically try and get you through that and your school will be providing stuff for you um obviously there is loads of stuff you've done on the website there are loads and loads of videos already um if schools do shut the best thing to do is just sensible revision techniques stick to your timetable and you know it's not going to be good for you just to slouch around at home in your pajamas doing nothing all day and then stay up all evening revising. Actually get up and act as if you were at school. So get up and then, you know, 9 o'clock Monday morning. Am I starting off? Yeah, I think 9 o'clock in the morning I'm starting off with, you, you know, your daily science lesson, either biology or chemistry. Um, and then I will do a live stream and I will set you some work and then I'll be on Twitter responding to, to comments. Now I know loads of you aren't going to be on Twitter but Twitter is the best platform for kind of like responding to comments and having a thread of conversation I think in my opinion. Um, so that is what we're going to do. Every single day there is going to be a timetable published with who's doing what, when. We will set you work and then we'll be around to answer questions um, and help with that work. That is what we are doing. Um, however, live streams are not always amazing. Um, sometimes things go wrong. Um, I'm going to link to a live stream that I did last year where I tried to do a Kahoot. And it was basically just half an hour of me demonstrating how not to use the internet and do a live stream. It was, it was not a good video. I might have deleted it because it was so bad. Whereas the, 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 edited videos that me and Lewis and Stacey put out they are good videos we spend time preparing them and then we spend time recording them and then we spend time editing them and then publish them and then there is worksheets workbooks that you can download from my website to go with them so I know everyone wants live streams but promise me our pre-edited videos are much much better quality um so, slightly doom and gloom video guys, I know, um, it is all slightly doom and gloom in my house at the moment. Um, I do expect schools to shut, I do expect exams to still go ahead in May and June, um, but I'm going to be here with you, helping you, the whole time. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.